Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the modern leather case from Nomad for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And a big thanks to Nomad for setting these up for review. So you may know Apple stopped selling their leather cases and accessories in favor of the fine woven. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a big fan of these, but Nomad still has you covered with leather accessories. So for the modern leather case, you do have two options for that. You have the leather and horwing leather. Leather will be $50, horwing leather will be $70. Horwing leather is just a much nicer leather, but either way you go, it's gonna be a great option. Now these also come in a case style and folio style case. So these two are the traditional case. However, you get, if you get the folio, that's going to cover not only the back, but also the front as well. These also offer anodized aluminum buttons, eight feet of drop protection. You have lanyard attachment points, and of course offers MagSafe for wireless charging and accessories. This is also available for all the iPhone 15 models, 15, 15 plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max. I do have two of the colors here. So I have the uh, English tan and brown, and there's also a black color as well. First, we'll take a look at the English tan, the regular leather. So you can see on the front, we have a nice photo of the case. On the back, of course, it's gonna show you how well it ages. So from day one to day 100, of course, it's gonna patina over time and offer that really, really nice look. Can open the package here. All right, and here it is. And as you can see, it's just a really nice uh, light tan color. We do have uh, black for our camera ring. And as you can see, it just looks absolutely beautiful. And of course, it smells really, really good also. Of course, it's not gonna to add too much bulk to your phone. You can see those aluminum buttons. Looks very similar to past years. We do actually have a complete button for the action button. I really like to see that. You can see on the inside, we have a really nice soft lining. And of course you can see the circle for our MagSafe Nomad branding at the bottom. Now again, this does offer eight feet of drop protection. You can see how rigid the case is here. And we'll go ahead and pop our phone in and take a quick look. Very, very easy to get in. And again, does not add much bulk at all. Looks really, really nice. And I do have the blue titanium. I think that looks pretty good with leather. What do you guys think? Taking a look at the side, you can see, have a really nice soft touch material. We have Nomad branding. We have that aluminum button, does have little slits in it for grip. See how nice and clicky that is, very good. Take a look at the other side, you can see, again, we have an action button. We have our volume buttons as well. And those are all very, very nice and clicky, as you can see here. We do, of course, have protection for our camera, a little raised lip right there. So, of course, we can place it down flat on a table and not have to worry about any damage to our camera. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see we have a pretty wide open cutouts for our charging speaker and mic. You can see those lanyard points on each corner. So, of course, if you want to use a lanyard, you can. Now, taking a look at the front, you can see it does not have much of a raised lip. It is nearly flush with the screen. So, I don't believe that'll offer a lot of protection. I do have a screen protector on here, so it's not interfering with that, but it is not really raised too much above the screen, so I don't know how much protection that would offer for the display itself if you were to uh, place it flat on a table. So I'd probably say have a screen protector with this one. Either way, it's still gonna offer uh, you know, decent draw protection, but it is nice and smooth going all the way around, and it is pretty tight around here also, so uh, really pretty nice case. Of course, this is day one, so of course, after a little while, this will get a little darker. All the oils and everything from your fingers and different things you do during the day will start to show on here and it gives it that really, really nice patina. And that is the English tan color. And just to show you real quick how easy it is to get off, just go at the corners here and then pops right out. Actually really, really easy to install and uh, take off. So really like that. Next, we'll take a look at the Horween leather, and this is in brown. You can see it has the Horween logo down here at the bottom. Have a picture of the case on the front. Same thing on the back, day one, day 100. So you can see that patina right there. And we'll go ahead and open this up really quick. And this will probably be my favorite. As you can see, it has that really nice, rich, dark brown. Looks absolutely beautiful. It's going to be nearly identical to the other case. Just we're gonna have that different leather just to give you an idea of the difference between the two. The English tan is going to be really, really light, and the brown will be uh, much darker. So we'll go ahead and pop our phone in right here real quick and take a look. All right, and here is our blue titanium with that brown color. Looks absolutely great. And again, this one's a Horween leather version. We still have those aluminum buttons on the side. Still really, really nice and clicky on there. Same ridged power button. Cutouts on the bottom, and you can see on the front as well. 
And these are, again, both going to be MagSafe compatible. So if you have any MagSafe charger or accessory, that will work just fine on here, as you can see. So there you have it, a quick look at the modern leather case from Nomad. Definitely one to look for. Again, we have a leather and a Horween leather version. You've got regular case and folio case. And of course, this is available for all iPhone 15 models. So definitely one to check out. I'll leave a link down below where you can check this out. Any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.